In this lesson, we're going to look at the Highlight tool here. Highlighting is only going to work on PDFs that have selectable text. Remember, since the Property Management document was scanned in, I'm not able to select any text. But in the Sony Camera Manual, I can use the Text Selection Markup to select and copy text. Activate the Highlight tool, and as I select text, it's going to be highlighted in whatever color is selected here. I'll choose yellow and highlight some text on this page. Right or control click on the highlighted text, and we can then change the color of the highlight. Notice that we can also select underline rather than a color highlight. We can also remove the highlight or add a note. If I select add note, a text box appears in which I can enter that note. When I'm done, the note shrinks and is displayed just as a small square icon near the highlight. I'm going to add another couple highlights into this image. And then from the sidebar view menu, choose Highlights and Notes. This will display every piece of highlighted text in the PDF. Click to jump to the page the highlighted text is on. If a note was added along with the highlight, it's going to be included here in the sidebar view. Notes can also be added independent of highlights. Add a note from the Tools menu, Annotate, and Choose New Note. Or use the shortcut Control command n and a note icon is added to the page, which can be moved to the exact location that I want to place the note. Click and I can enter the text for the new note. This standalone note is added to the Highlights and Notes view as well. Highlights and Notes can be removed by just selecting them in the sidebar and then hitting the Delete key. Over in the scanned PDF, we can't add highlights, but notes can be added. Notes are nice because they allow for a lot of text to be added without all that text being placed over or in the margins of the document. 